So this year, a lot of students either in elementary or post-secondary are going to be grappling with artificial intelligence or AI writers as they return to the classroom. Students will soon be heading back to school and that new kid in class could be a chat bot, which could create challenges for students and teachers. Students have more at their fingertips than ever before. And yes, that includes AI generated tools like chat GPT an alarmingly sophisticated AI tool that started showing up in classrooms last winter. Ways for students to sort of take a prompt maybe from their classroom, put it into the application, and then the tool like ChatGPT spits out as much as an essay in response to a prompt. And it does it really fast. It can do it in about 20 seconds. Um, and so this is often now sort of looked to by students as a way to tackle a lot of assignments. The moral principles of plagiarism and cheating, of course, come into play with bots completing students' assignments. But that's not the only issue. ChatGPT and other tools like that are known to spit out false information. Uh, and students don't necessarily know that when they're using ChatGPT. They think that everything that it's producing for them or generating for them is factual. That's false. ChatGPT, among others, is known to invent facts a lot of the time. The biggest setback, according to Choksi, is that students aren't actually learning to write or express original ideas. And they're risking a lot in terms of their development and contribution to society. But it's not just students using these types of artificial intelligence aids. I think tools like ChatGPT can be useful for teaching things like critical thinking. So assessing sort of the quality of information, assessing the sources that we're drawing on. Still, Choksi says it isn't something educators or students should rely on as a credible source. In Calgary, Shilpa Downton. City News.